Welcome back to Skyway TJ. And today, guys, we're finally going to be discussing the top 10 worst movies of 2019. Uh, these are movies that I either hated a lot or was completely just let down by. They they just kind of suck. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, if you like this type of content, guys, please drop a like and subscribe for more. There will be a video out every single day to the end of 2019. We're coming down to the wire here. And, yeah, I hope you guys join me for 2020. It's going to be a crazy year. And without further ado, let's hop into the top 10 worst movies of 2019, with 10 being the least worst, and number one being the ultimate biggest poo-poo, biggest worst, worst hoo-ha movie of 2019. Before I begin, I would just like to give an honorable mention to Cats. I didn't watch it, so I can't justify putting it on this list, but from the little clips that I've seen from like going into the theater and just watching little clips of it, it looks god awful. So if I had seen it, it'd probably be either number one or two on this list, but I haven't. So honorable mention to cats. So starting off this list is uh, at number 10 is Toy Story 4. I talked about this in my biggest disappointment list, but Toy Story 4 did not live up to anything I was expecting. It completely shoves most of the toys to the background and focuses solely on Woody and somewhat Buzz and how Woody is feeling neglected, yada, yada, yada. I didn't like this movie. I really, really wish I had, but I don't think this one is any good. They should have just stopped at three. And uh, if you want to hear me really tear into it, you can watch my biggest disappointments of the year video. Um, but yeah, this movie did not excite me at all. So I have it at number 10 on the worst movies of 2019. And number nine, I have What Men Want. Uh, while this movie is funny in some regards, um, I didn't, it wasn't that entertaining. Like I enjoyed some of the humor. Some of the scenes were funny, but most of the time I was just like annoyed watching it. It just didn't really interest me that much. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I wasn't like the target audience or what, but I just, I didn't enjoy this movie. Uh, and I know it's like a, it's a gender swap version of a, like what woman, women want that came out like in the seventies or eighties or something. I don't know, but yeah, this one didn't do it for me. So at number nine, I have what men want and number eight, I have countdown. Uh, while this is just like a PG 13 little horror movie about something stupid it's about you know an app that's gonna tell you when you're gonna die but the app is actually some like old pagan curse worship thing i don't know it's very dumb um i only watched it because you know i was bored and i just you know i don't know i didn't like it that much it's pretty basic when it comes to horror films and you know with all kinds of great horror coming out these days i think countdown is something that should have come out either on netflix or just not at all so at number eight i have countdown at number seven we have the curse of la llorona again i talked about this in my disappointment video if you're gonna make a movie in the conjuring universe first off market it that it's going to be in the conjuring universe so people know um, i think that was one of the biggest flops of this movie and two if you're going to make a movie in the conjuring universe make it a good horror movie there have been so many crappy horror movies that when it comes to The Conjuring, which is like some of the best ones, you got to do better. Uh, this movie is just, it's just boring. I've seen it 300 times because it's the same as most boring horror movies. It's just, it needs to do better. The villain is basic and boring and yeah, I don't want to rip into it anymore. But that's why The Curse of La Llorona is at number seven. It's just not that good for a Conjuring film. At number six, I have Isn't It Romantic. Uh, this movie is just not for me. And I think that's just plain to see. It's a romantic comedy. And like, yes, I like some of them, but this one I just don't think was for me. Uh, the cast is, the cast did pretty well for what they had. It just wasn't for me. I don't think I'm the biggest fan of Rebel Wilson. So that might have had something to do with it. I don't know. I didn't like Isn't It Romantic. So that's why it's at uh, number six for this list. And number five, I have The Intruder. Um, again, another example of a pretty boring horror film. Um, 
it's just a home invasion movie but this time the a young couple buys a house from some creepy old dude and they find out throughout the movie that the old dude has been like living in the house in a secret room or something and he's like obsessed with the wife and he's gonna he's gonna kill the husband or whatever it's just i it i, I didn't like it that much it most of the scenes are the same one over and over again like the husband's gone, creepy guy comes over, husband tells wife that creepy guy needs to not come over while he's not there, yada, yada, yada. It's just, it's just boring. I'll give a shout out to Dennis Quaid though. He is terrifying. So that's one good part of this movie. But for me, I just thought it was mostly disappointing. So at number five, I have The Intruder. At number four, we have Little. I hate this movie. I don't like anyone from this film. All the acting choices are just garbage. It's not good. It's a pretty basic concept. Uh, you know, the mean boss or whatever gets turned into a little girl and she has to find a way to get turned back and learn a lesson to like prove that she's, you know, gonna be nice in the future as an adult and not be the mean boss lady anymore. But it's just, it, I didn't like, I just didn't like this at all. It was boring as hell and I, no one was relatable and it's just, uh, it's just horrible. So at, <laughs> I'm sorry, but at number four, I got little at number three is pet cemetery. I think this is one of, of like the few Stephen King adaptations. That's pretty, pretty bad. Like it was bad when they made it like forever ago and it's bad. Now the, Oh, the cast is horrible. Like, you could tell none of them really gave a shit about being in this movie. And it's just, I think they just need to leave this one alone. Like, it's good as a book or a short story. I don't remember what it is. But, like, don't quit ad adaptating this to film because... Adaptating? Adap quit adapting this to film because it's just not, it's not going to work. And this one was really bad really bad really boring it gave a horrible uh, end credit song to a cover of pet cemetery just stop this movie was shit very very stupid very bad so at number three that's why we got pet cemetery at number two i have 47 meters down uncaged i did not like this movie at all i hate water i hate watching movies where people are swimming and get attacked by things underwater i'm terrified of water i I not only is this movie all in water, which is like a majority of the reason why I hate it. The characters are just dumb. I don't like sharks. I just, uh, no, this movie is just bad. It was really bad, really boring, really predictable. Just, you can't, no, I just did not like this at all. The number two, 47 meters down on cage. And at number one, I have the movie that pissed me off so motherfucking bad in 2019, Captain Yay! Fucking State. This movie will go down as the worst movie of 2019, maybe the worst movie of the goddamn decade. I hated Captive State. My review on it still stands. No movie has dethroned Captive State as the worst one of the year. It is god awful the plot makes no goddamn sense the characters are all terrible it just it's horrible awful 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 i hate captive state and i always will that's why it's number one as the worst movie of 2019 possibly the worst movie of the decade don't at me well guys that's been the top 10 worst movies of 2019 hope you guys enjoyed that if you did please drop that like and subscribe for more i make videos like this every single week there will be a video out every single day until the end of 2019. So I hope you come back tomorrow for the next one. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what were your least favorite films of this year. Uh, I would love to see that. And please be kind to one another, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.